Man, 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 what a card. Five foot 11, medium, medium work rates. Not the best, but he is left footed with four star skill moves and three star weight foot. The better of the star splits, that's for sure, in my opinion. Um, but man, Harry Cure, what a card. 90 pace, 85 shooting, 88 passing, 80 dribbling. 52 defending and 69 physical. It looks like a really interesting prospect, especially at a cam position in the Premier League. As you are aware, he does have alternate positions at left mid and left wing. So you can play him out wide if you want to. But yeah, really, really good for building teams around. On to his attributes though. 90 pace. Man is fucking lightning quick. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Shooting wise, 85 finishing, 87 shot power, 87 long shots. What else do you need? Passing across the board, man. This dude is solid. 91 vision, 91 crossing. He can whip in a ball. He can play it short. He can play it long. He can curl one in. He can do everything. Moving on to dribbling. Same concept. Man has really, really good DAB being dribbling, agility, and balance. 85 composure, 84 reactions, as well as 87 ball control. This man it's gonna feel silky on the ball. And then physicals, I mean, let's be real, we don't really need to talk, need to talk about physicals when it comes to Harry Kill. Um, yeah, you're pretty much getting what's on his card, but he is quite dear. So coming in at around 310k at the time of recording, um, it's dear, man. It's really dear. It is to note, it is just before Weekend League and we will be playing in Quals, which is why he's probably inflated. But his price has actually risen since the Hero Pack. So yeah, we'll see We'll see how, how worth it he really is. Moving on into his Hero Profile, he is a Leeds and Liverpool Hero. I don't support any of them, but I support this team right here. Moving on into his traits, injury prone. And outside of the foot shot trade chat, you know what that means? Travella City coming. Let's see. Let's see if he's got a messy esque left peg. But it is to know he doesn't have the finesse shot trait. But this will be the team we will be playing him in alongside Mr. Cahill, who we will have a review on in the coming days, and Park Ji Sung, who we actually already have a review up on the YouTube. So don't forget to sub and like the video. Let me know what you think, and let me know who you'd like to see next. And I will catch you guys in the gameplay. Oh, and. I forgot to mention, we will be playing him at striker, cab, left cab, and right cab. Just to give you an idea of what we're playing with. So yeah, I'm going to try him in a multitude of positions and let you guys know what I think. Good kill. Mmm. Eesh. The five back. Yuck. Good ball. Go on, bang it. I don't like that. I wish he, I wish he banged that, but we'll take it. Big boy Harry Kill. What can he do out wide? He feels silky. Good run. Good ball. Go on, kill. Use your pace, son. Use your pace. Oh, he's going to get caught. Ah, juked. Good. Big boy, Harry. Over to the corner flag, he goes. Beautiful finishing. Beautiful finishing there. He's done well to keep the ball there. He feels silky, man. The bullying. The bullying. Can he get there? So close. Good run. Bang. Banging it in with his left. I like it. I like it a lot. He still came out with the ball. 
Dang it. Not a bad shot, not a bad shot. <gasps> He's missed! No! Go on, Timmy. Go on, Timmy. Go on, Q. Dink him! <gasps> he didn't shoot! Why did he shoot? Dang it. That's a very good shot. That is a very good shot. I mean, I'm impressed, Harry. I'm impressed. Wait, they've actually got his face down pat, to be fair. That's like identical. Good tackle. Good run, Cahill. Bang it. Good, nay. Unlucky. Bad touch. Hmm. Good touch. Don't kill. Good ball. One more. Bang it. Good. The link up. The duo. Well and kill. Oh, he can't get away. He can skill him though. He can skill him though. Oh, unlucky. Go on kill. Go on kill. Dink. That is... Oh, he's missed it. He's made the run from deep. Kimmy, Timmy Cahill's through. Bang it. Oh, the volley's hit the crossbar as well. The passion. Harry! Oh, crossbars again! He was in the right position, man. Can he whip one? He can. Beautiful ball. It's Raheem. Close. Go on, Harry. Go on, Harry. Outpace him, Harry. It's Kyle. Bang it. Oh, he outpaced Kyle Walker, though. Well, he got, it. He got in front of him anyway, which is quite impressive. Not very many people can do that to Kyle Walker. Good ball. Good, Harry. Good, Harry. Oh, I've been sold a dream. Oh, he's just off. Good ball, though. Good, Harry. Good, Harry. Go on, you'll get there. Go on, Harry. I'll tell you guys what. In the sweaty depths of weekend league qualification, Harry Kuehl and Tim Cahill. Their stats might not suggest it, but man, I was impressed. Okay, overview time. Firstly, I'm going to advise you to play this man up top or in a camp position. Out wide, yes, he is very, very good. But I feel like he's wasted. I feel like you get a lot more enjoyment out of this card playing him up top because the positions he gets himself into, the runs he makes on and off the ball, it's really, really, really good, man. So, so quick tip, you can play him anywhere up top, but I'd advise you to play him central. Moving swiftly on though, he is a hero. He does provide really good links. Being in the Premier League, super, super desirable, especially in the roles he can pursue being out wide and at cam in your starting squad. However, it is good to note that on a negative side of things, is it a negative? Being Australian is a really a negative, is it? But in FIFA, it is. Because really, the only player you can link him to is Tim Cahill. So, so yeah, on that forefront, it's not ideal. Uh, but still, chemistry, it's a big plus for this card. And then moving on into his shooting stats though. I mean, I'll tell you guys what. This man is an auto finisher, literally finishes for fun. If you get him on his leg peg, you best believe it's hitting the post, hitting the crossbar or hitting the back of the net. One of the three without a doubt. And actually having someone that can finish so frequently is really, really refreshing to see. However, I do want to talk about his body type. He seems a little bit stocky. He reminds me of Fakir. If you guys ever have used Fakir in FIFA, Kill's not exactly sure, he's 5'11". But 
he's got a bit of stockiness to him. So he is actually able to hold off play if need be, while still feeling relatively agile and silky on the ball, which is really, really OP in a lot of FIFAs, including this one. Now, versatility-wise, we have touched over this briefly already. Yeah, you can play him anywhere up top. Like, it's not going to be a drum. You can play him wide. You can play him central. You can play... At, at the forefront, you can play him anywhere. Look, he's a really, really good card. Versatility-wise, you're laughing. If you do look to play him in a midfield or wide role, his distribution is unreal, especially with that 88 passing. Like, you don't need to touch it at all. If you wanted to, you could run an engine and boost it just that extra little bit along with his uh, pace and dribbling. But really, at the end of the day, it's up to you guys. Play whichever cam styles you guys want to use because at the end of the day, he's still going to be here. He's still going to feel insane. And with a price tag at 310k, I'm going to say right now, 9.5 value for coins. I think it's more important at this price range, though, to consider the enjoyment factor, though. Like, yes, his return wasn't incredible, but he was just fun to use. And when you when you start to get to these high tier cards, yes, they can be really good, but are they fun? Like, like that's something you actually have to consider because there's, there, there does hit a stage in FIFA where a play is not worth the coins. Like Mbappe, 1.5 mil. Yeah, he's the best card in the game. Is he worth it? Probably not. But that's just because the coin value and the enjoyment factor, they'll never balance out at such a high price point. So yeah, I think enjoyment factor being so high is very, very important. Now quickly into the cons, nation links. We already touched base with this. He's from Australia. It's hard to link him. Con number two, man isn't lengthy. I don't like it. It's annoying because lengthy is so OP in next gen. If you're an old gen, it doesn't matter. He's going to be unreal. But new gen, just, just, just take note. This is why I don't like playing him out in a wider sort of role because he can't actually get away from plays as much as I'd like to. As you'll see in the Cahill play review in a few days time, Cahill actually outpaces a lot more players than what Harry Kill does. So just something to note. So that was my alarm for my dumplings and uh, pork buns. So I should probably go take those off the heat right now. Um, but last but not least, he can feel clunky. Being stocky isn't always a good thing, okay? Depending on your gameplay, he may feel clunky at times, but the majority of the time, he's gonna he's gonna fit the bill. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Let me know what you guys think and who you would like to see next. Much love from your boy. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.